So when you're 3D printing, there's always a question about what type of thing can you actually print? Can you print like a chain link thing? So some sort of interconnected object? And obviously you can see that it is possible, but where do we start? Well, one of the key things in starting is to look at the fact that there must be some sort of system. You see like with a big system, there's always these little parts that make it go together. But it's easier just to look at a really small set of units. So here we have a 3D print that's pretty much three similar sized pieces like trapezoidal prisms. And look, as you see how they are related together, they're locked into each other. And so that's like the basis building blocks for how something like this would work on a larger scale. And as we go to printing, essentially, you know, I made sure to glue down the plate because these are going to be separate bodies that are being printed. So as you will find out, as you can see when they're moving, after I take out all this, you know, the little material for the bed, these are going to be independent objects that are only printed together. And so like for their bigger system, it's definitely going to be something that took longer. This was a two hour print. Uh, this is a Thingiverse object that sort of brought me to this, but the, the idea is that you know, after sort of your refining material, like there's a lot of little slag because it was, I did it on a speed print, but essentially because of that system that works together, each of the one of those is like joined a little bit, um, it allows it to have greater mobility and flexibility. So you can print chain link systems or any systems based on those ideas just with the right logic. Thanks for joining me. This is Brandon with Motion Form.